Merry Christmas, puppers. We hope all of you are having a wonderful Christmas day. And for our friends not celebrating Christmas, we hope you are enjoying your winter holidays. Today, we're going to throw it back a little bit and do something nostalgic and fun. We're going to look at the 12 best Christmas cartoon episodes from our childhoods. Let us know if we missed your favorite down in the comments below. Number 12, A Scooby-Doo Christmas. This cartoon is over 40 years old, has a slew of films both live action and animated. It is a staple in most people's childhoods, so there are plenty of Christmas episodes available to choose from when it comes to Scooby-Doo. But our favorite would definitely have to be the 1984 The New Scooby-Doo Mysteries episode, The Nutcracker Scoob. It's fun, nostalgic, and packed with Christmas sarcasm. Oh, I am the ghost of Christmas never. Number 11, A Very Cat Dog Christmas. For most kids growing up in the 90s, watching Nickelodeon, Cat Dog was a must. It has a catchy theme song and is generally an odd yet enjoyable show. The Christmas episode, A Very Cat Dog Christmas, is jam-packed with the type of lessons that everyone needs reminded of during the holiday season. This episode plays a lot with the same theme as A Christmas Carol, where Cat learns the meaning of Christmas and friendship. Number 10, Holly Jolly Jimmy. Jimmy Neutron was towards the end of our childhoods, but chances are most people our age have still watched it. The Christmas episode is in true Jimmy Neutron fashion. Because he did not get what he asked for, Jimmy believes Santa isn't real. So the adventure to the North Pole begins, where Jimmy and the gang search for Santa. Number 9, Adventure Time, The Ice King's Christmas Secret. Adventure Time is one of the weirdest, most clever and intriguing cartoons I think I've ever seen. The Christmas episode is no exception to the eccentric and strange theme of the show. The Ice King has a secret and Finn and Jake want to know what it is. They adorn their Christmas sweaters, drink hot cocoa, and sit by the fire to watch the tapes and discover the secret. By the end, Finn and Jake are surrounded by all of their friends in an annual tradition of a Christmas gathering. Number 8, A Pinky and the Brain Christmas. When Pinky's letter doesn't make it to Santa, he is completely devastated because his only Christmas wish is to give whatever he can to Brain. This is a heartfelt episode where Brain chooses Pinky over the world. It shows their friendship and love for one another, despite one being an evil genius and the other one just a little insane. Number seven, The Loud House, 11 Louds A-Leaping. The Loud House was a very reminiscent cartoon for many 90s kids, reviving the 2D animation but keeping up with the times. In The Loud House, we follow the chaos of 11 siblings and all of the shenanigans they get into. For the Christmas episode, we watch as the kids realize what the true meaning of Christmas is. That having a family to be with and sharing what you have during the holidays is more important than what you can get. Number 6. As Told by Ginger and Even Steven Holiday. As Told by Ginger is one of the most underrated Nick cartoons of its time. It was fun to watch, but really tackled a lot of serious issues for kids in middle school and high school. In this episode, Ginger learns that she descended from a Jewish background and decides she wants to celebrate Hanukkah and Christmas. Throughout the episode, Ginger struggles with wanting to understand her heritage, bringing her fractured family together and trying to get her best friends to support her in her journey of self-discovery. Things obviously go wrong, but in the end, Everyone has a holiday they won't forget. Number five, SpongeBob, the very first Christmas. Who doesn't love SpongeBob? We get to celebrate our favorite underwater gang in their very first Christmas. In true SpongeBob fashion, it's weird and outlandish with a dancing Santa that can also be considered a little bit uncomfortable. When SpongeBob and Patrick think Santa forgot about them, Squidward begrudgingly tries to make it a holiday no one will forget by stepping in as Santa. Number four, Rugrats. The Rugrats is a special cartoon for a lot of reasons, but one of them is because of how long the show ran for. 18 years! I know, so there was a lot of room for a ton of holiday episodes, and honestly, they didn't disappoint. The show creators didn't leave culture out of their seasonal episodes. For many cartoons, you'll get the Christmas episode and be done with it. The Rugrats, however, covered several Christmas episodes, Hanukkah, and even Kwanzaa. We watch as everyone celebrates Christmas together, the Pickles celebrate Hanukkah, and then the Carmichaels celebrate Kwanzaa. It is a diverse holiday cartoon. Number three, Fairly Odd Parents. I wish every day could be Christmas. Despite the greedy theme of the beginning of the episode, Mine! by the end, Timmy learns what makes Christmas special. And not every day can be like Christmas. 
We do have to agree, though, how catchy the song is, and how absurdly funny all of the things that go wrong end up being. We may be looking through rose-colored glasses on this one, but it's still an enjoyable Christmas cartoon. Number two, Danny Phantom, The Fright Before Christmas. Yo, Danny Phantom, he was just 14 when his parents built a very strange machine. It was designed to view a world unseen. He's gonna catch him up. Oh, this episode is a clever and well thought out one. Danny decides that he has lost his Christmas spirit and becomes angry with everyone. A ghost rider decides to haunt Danny and turn his dreary spirit into a holiday poem. Nearly the entire episode is written in rhyme, and Danny is aware of that. It is a fun episode that is a must watch for Christmas. Coming in at number one, Hey Arnold, Arnold's Christmas. This is hands down the best Christmas episode in the cartoons that we grew up with. It embodies everything that modern Christmas is about. Family, friends, and miracles. The boarding house has a secret Santa, and Arnold receives Mr. Wynn. He is a private man, so Arnold tries to figure out what he wants for Christmas. In gathering his information, he finds out Mr. Wynn was separated from his daughter when they were displaced by war in his home country. Arnold decides that he will try to reunite them for Christmas. What feels like an impossible feat turns out to be the best Christmas ever with the secret help and sacrifices of Helga. If you want to show someone the perfect Christmas cartoon episode, watch this one. Okay, puppers, what is your favorite Christmas cartoon episode? Please let us know in the comments down below. We hope you're all having a safe and wonderful holiday season and that you bring in the new year with health and happiness. The rogue... Yeah. And gathering his information... Sorry. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>